Hi, my name is Clipper Erickson. I play piano for the Network for New Music. I've been playing for them since the fall of 2018, so about 18 months. And so I'm quite a newbie, and my time with them I have enjoyed very, very much. I love the people and the music. The programming is wonderfully inventive and colorful. And I'm originally from California, and my heart is very much in the West. Um, and I grew up knowing music from a young age, although I didn't have a lot of exposure to concerts. I took piano lessons and was a good student, but not an extraordinary one. My parents tell me that I always loved music, and especially the piano. I love to go to the piano and try out the keys and to see what kind of sound that I could make with the piano. And uh, as a teenager, I kind of got the bug and decided that I wanted to do this for my life. And I started practicing a lot, getting up at 5.30 in the morning sometimes to get a couple of hours in before school. At that point, my parents decided that it was time to refinish the garage and move the piano out there. But as a teenager at age 14 or 15, I was rather behind the curve. But I practiced very hard and was able to enter the Juilliard School on a scholarship at age 18. And since then, I've lived my life on the East. I um, graduated also from Indiana and Yale, and most recently in 2014 with my doctorate at Temple University. And when I was asked to perform with Network, I was really excited because I had played a lot of contemporary music and done premieres and recordings, particularly of local Philadelphia composers like David Finko and Richard Broadhead. And I enjoyed playing their music, particularly because it was very colorful and very dramatic and not terribly cerebral. So I was really excited when they asked me to play, but I was a little bit scared because I had never played with several of the people that, um, that were the other musicians at Network, but they were so wonderful to work with, they put me at ease right away. And my first concert, I was asked to play some chamber works, and also a piano solo piece by Morton Feldman. Now, Morton Feldman, I knew the name, but I didn't know his music very much. And when I got the score, it had an aleatoric notation without any notated rhythm, and so I really didn't know exactly what to do with it, and I was a little worried that I wouldn't play it correctly. But then I started playing through the piece, and the sonorities and the chords were so enjoyable that it just came to me rather naturally. It was very quiet, delicate, to be performed with the piano lid down. So I really enjoyed performing that on my first Network concert back in the fall of 2018. And in 2019, I became seriously ill. I needed open heart surgery. And this was a week before I was scheduled to play my next Network concert in February of 2019. And everyone there was so very kind. And they cared about me and asked about my health. And really, I was so touched at the, at the interest and the compassion that they had for me and my illness. Um, so during my recovery, they said, well, definitely we need you back here playing with us. And so I was very happy to play my next concert in earlier this year in 2020 and performed some beautiful vocal music by Philip Manival and also by Florence Price, an African-American composer who's a favorite of mine. Um, so I've really enjoyed my time with Network. They are the most wonderful people. And I would have to say that the best thing about Network, besides the great music, is the people. So I, so far as what my favorite Network performance was that I've been to, it's not so much about that. It's so much about, it's more about enjoying the, the other musicians and the director, Thomas, and, and all the people in the office that I work with, so I'm very grateful to know them. And so far as my tastes in music, well, they're maybe not quite so typical, so they wouldn't fit too much into what your, your suggested answers are. 
I don't particularly care for either Bruckner or Mahler, at least since I was 18 years old. I prefer Sibelius. And so far as 20th century music composers, my favorite is Bartok. Bartok strikes me as being the most colorful and inventive and original of all of them. And that's just my opinion. And so far as American composers, I particularly enjoy American composers that have an ethnic root. Um, Alan Hovhaness is a favorite of mine, and I'm particularly involved in African-American composers. I've spent a lot of time researching and performing the music of Nathaniel Dett. He's kind of my specialty. He was an African-American composer in the early 20th century. I did my dissertation on his music and did the first recording of all the piano music in 2015, about two and a half hours worth. Um, so Florence Price is also a favorite of mine. So that's my taste in, in recent music. I particularly enjoy music that's colorful, that has narrative. And I'm going to perform now for you a piece by my dear friend, Laurie Altman. Laurie Altman is a jazz pianist who lives now in Switzerland. I knew him when he lived in Princeton and taught jazz at Westminster Conservatory and also Princeton University. And he's written a lot of piano music, especially sonatas, 11 sonatas he's up to now. I've recorded two of them, uh, premiered another one, and am involved in, in performing another two. So I hope to do some recording of his music in the near future. Um, so he's also written a set of preludes and fugues. And um, the, in particular, one really struck me as being particularly beautiful. And that's a prelude in G flat major. And this piece is so calming. And I think we need that more than ever right now when everyone is so stressed and anxious about what's going on with the COVID-19. And we don't know what's going to happen. We're worried and frightened and frustrated sometimes that we can't do what we used to do and our routine is so different and so impacted. I'm lucky because I live in a beautiful place. I live out here in Morrisville and my typical day is first of all to read in the morning, often the Bible, and then I go out to the canal by the river, by the Delaware River, and bike and walk on the canal. And especially when it's a beautiful day like today, I love seeing the animals, the turtles, the geese, the ducks, and seeing how all the plants are growing and the flowers are coming out. And this particular piece sort of reminds me of that, of that, those walks. It's like walking on the canal where you see all these magical things and all the changes, maybe the changes in the weather, the breeze blows up a little bit and stirs the water up, or birds fly, or you hear the woodpecker knocking. And I think that this piece represents that. And I think we need to remember how beautiful nature is and what beautiful beauty we're surrounded with all the time, in, particularly in this time.